Hey, I'm Tim Bogatz with The Art of Education, and I wanted to share today with you my secret for keeping your slip clean and usable when you're doing ceramics. Hey, for me, it's about making sure that the kids don't make a giant slip all over their tables, all over their projects, okay, and making sure that they're using quality stuff so it's not super chunky, tough to work with. You want a smooth, consistent slip that's easy to do, easy to keep clean. So step one for me is taking the blender pitcher back to the reclaim bucket. So we have 55 gallons of clay and water mixed together to make some beautiful, beautiful slips. So go back to the reclaim bucket, fill this up, take it over to the blender, blend it, so you have a really nice, really smooth consistency. The first couple times you go through that, it may be a little difficult to figure out how much water, how much clay you need, okay? but if it's been in the reclaim bucket long enough, it should be pretty naturally uh, at the state where you want it to go. So go ahead and hit it in the blender, get the consistency you need, okay? and then I have a slip cup at every table, okay? and just some random dollar store Tupperware that we use, okay? and you can either walk around the room with your pitcher filling up clay buckets as you go, okay? or you can have the kids bring their slip cup back to you, back to wherever the blender is plugged in, fill that up as needed. If you trust them, you can let them do it. If you're more of a control type person, okay, you can fill it up for them, but whatever works for you uh, to keep that full at each table. Okay? And then the last thing as far as keeping things clean, keeping things usable, okay, is I always have a couple of paint brushes at the table. Okay? So sometimes you need that feel, sometimes you need to use your fingers, but if you're going with just coil after coil after coil, scoring and slipping each one of those, hey, okay, using a couple brushes will really keep things cleaner because you can just dip them in, paint the slip on, set that back down. Okay, super easy to rinse out when you're done. Okay, it keeps the cup clean, it keeps the tables clean, okay, it keeps your kids' hands clean so they can keep working. So between the blender, filling up the cups and a couple brushes, then you should be able to keep running each day with slip that is clean, usable, and workable. And for more tips and tricks about art education, please visit theartofed.com.